Hello, Mark and Ingrid. How are you guys? Everything is fantastic over here. Let's go ahead and review Englishman in New York. We're going to do it two ways. The first way we're going to do it is going to be just with the chords. We're going to go and counting the beats, of course. E minor, one, two, to A major, three, four, to B minor, the bar chord. This is going to get three beats. One, two, three, to A, back to the E minor. A major, B, one, two, three, to A, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, let's try it together. We're gonna do it at a nice mellow pace, so that way that B minor bar chord gets all the attention and time it deserves, okay? All right, let's give it a shot. We're just strumming on the beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, 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 B minor, bar, one, two, three, four, E minor, one, two, A major, three, four, B minor, bar, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. All right, next up, we're going to do the picking pattern with our thumb and first two fingers. We're going to do it like so. The bass note is going to be with our thumb, and we're going to be working off of the G and B strings. But of course, when we go to A, your bass note changes to the A string. And then of course, when you go to the B chord, your bass note still is on the A string, and your two fingers always stay on the G and the B. Cool. Let's go ahead and give it a shot, nice and slow. Two, three. Nice and slow, we'll slow it down a little bit more even. If the B minor chord is not coming out perfectly, that's fine. Just keep playing through it. Cause you gotta make sure your rhythm is right there. If your rhythm is good, that B minor chord is gonna follow. Alright, next up, you have the melody written and a scale as well associated with it. I'm going to do the rhythm and just play the scale along and then play the melody along as well. We'll do this for a couple of minutes just so that way you can kind of get good with a feel for that melody. And um, again, if you happen to miss a note, it's okay. Keep moving forward and rewind this tape. So that way, um, if you keep moving forward, you're going to be able to get it with good rhythm. Instead of just stopping and starting again, that's something you don't want to do in this particular case right now. So, all right, here we go. Let's play right through it. You can come in at any time you'd like. I'll count us in. One, two, three, four.
excellent job, folks. Keep up the great work. You guys are progressing incredibly fast. So uh, definitely um, drop me a line if you have any questions. And I hope to see you soon. Definitely.